Hey, hello. Thank you for tuning in. Today's Thursday, 5-14-2015. I'm Mark from America 2.0. How are you? I have something that will intrigue you uh, science geeks out there. Remember how we've always been told that there are no warm-blooded fish? That due to all the major laws thereof, that it's almost impossible, if you haven't been told it is impossible, that fish... Uh, are warm-blooded or they can't be warm-blooded well today or at least this week sometime scientists discover a fish that is in fact warm-blooded researchers have discovered first fish that can keep its entire body warm much like mammals and birds okay the opa or moonfish live in deep cold water and it but it generates heat from its massive pectoral muscles and it conserves the warmth thanks to body fat and the special structures of blood vessels in the gills water will take the heat right out of the creatures so fish typically remain the temperature of the water they swim in but or rather, and that in turn limits the biological functions of the colder water, especially cardiovascular endurance. There are partial exceptions. Tuna, billfish, and some sharks can temporarily raise the temperature of their body muscles while they hunt, but they must return to warmer waters to bring their core temperature back to normal. The opa, or lampris, uh, uh doesn't look like a fierce predator. This tubby fish, about a meter long, swims by flapping its pectoral fins. It lives in the oceans around the world, but little known, little is known about its biology. It hunts squid and fish, especially 50 meters to 200 meters below the surface, where it's just 10 degrees Celsius and colder in 2012. Uh, fisheries and uh, biologists within the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in San Diego, California, caught some OPA off the coast of California as part of a regular survey. And this is how they basically started finding this out. So here's the fish, here's the OPA. And it is, in fact, warm blooded. I don't know how much uh, normal. This is compared to the others that they named that could change their core temperature. I don't know if this can just do it longer or if it has to actually, or if it can actually keep its core temperature higher indefinitely. Definitely an interesting story. So if you're ever told, hey, uh, you know, all fish are cold blooded, say nope. The opa are not, some sharks are not. Uh, billfish, I believe, is one of the ones they mentioned. And this one here, the opa, can definitely keep its core temperature uh, warm the longest. I believe it means indefinitely, but I'm not certain by the reading. Thank you.